Even the people in charge of Denver spending have no idea how much the mayor's quest and homelessness is costing. Our Mark Salinger has been reporting on how approved spending already totals tens of millions of dollars beyond what the public has been told. And now some on city council say they can't get straight answers either. We will begin in a room where hundreds of millions of dollars are approved for spending every year. Yeah. There's one project council member Stacy Gilmore yeah. says yeah. she can't tell us the yeah. cost of. I don't have any of that info. I can't tell you what the personnel costs are. I can't tell you what the janitorial costs are. I can't tell you any of that. It's not because she hasn't asked. She has many times, but she says she can't get an answer about how much money the city has spent on the mayor's House 1000 homelessness initiative. We all have a responsibility to the voters and to the taxpayers of Denver to share this info with them. Good, better or worse, we need to have these conversations. Gilmore knows City Council has approved more than $110 million to buy hotels, contract providers, and house the homeless, even though that's tens of millions of dollars over the initial budget presented by the mayor for 2023 and 2024. The mayor's office is asking everyone to trust them that House 1000 is not over budget. Even as the former chair of the committee in charge of homelessness, Gilmore has seen no proof that's true or false. You just can't take it at somebody's word, unfortunately, when it's hundreds of millions of dollars that we're potentially talking about here. What I would want to see is a spreadsheet that has what our monthly spend is for each facility that we're paying for, what the robust services are, I want it line itemed out. Difficulties keeping track of spending on homelessness is nothing new in Denver. Back in 2022, under then Mayor Michael Hancock, an audit found Denver did not have a formal process of tracking costs related to homeless encampments. Under the Johnson administration, city council, journalists, and the public also don't seem to know exactly how much money is being spent. The taxpayers are underwriting this whole initiative and I want to be able to answer questions that they might have. Tomorrow, Gilmore and the rest of the Safety, Housing and, Housing and Homelessness Committee and City Council will hear from the mayor's office about exactly how much money has been spent on House 1000. We expect them to tell council that it's only about $10 million last year. The question that has not been answered so far is how many of those contracts that were signed last year were pushed off to this year, 2024, and how much money, Kyle, the city will spend this upcoming year. So Denver has a strong mayor system. The mayor's in charge and the council has limited powers. Mayor determines how fast the bus is driven, and on this issue, he's chosen to drive it really fast. Very fast. It was the campaign goal that he campaigned on to be elected was saying, we will house 1,000 people, move them into shelter by the end of 2023. Gilmore says checkbook was open. Now it's time to figure out how to pay for it. All right, appreciate you watching it, Mark. Thank you.